to tell you the patient's height and weight and vital signs which are within the normal limits for her age, height and weight and age in 21. She is alert and oriented. Her speech is clear, audible, and articulate. She is dressed appropriately for the weather. Her skin is a um, her skin is consistent with her genetic background and her gait was steady and balanced as she approached. So now we'll begin her head to toe assessment. Hello, my name is Tori. I'll be your student nurse today. Can I have your name and date of birth, please? Kate Lisa Dowden, August 25th, 1993. Okay, thank you, Ms. Dowden. Today I'll be performing your head to toe assessment, which will take about 30 minutes. Do you have any questions? Oh, then, okay, I'm going to give you some privacy real quick. Okay, good. Um, your head, Ticks or drooping is noted. Um, your facial expression is calm and relaxed for the situation and appropriate. So now I'm going to palpate your head. I do not note any uh, lumps, abrasions, or lesions noted. Scalp is healthy. There are no foreign objects or particles present. Okay, now I'm going to palpate your sinuses. This is your frontal. And for your maxillary, did you have any pain? No. Okay, no pain noted or inflammation. Um, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and have you smile, frown about your cheeks, raise your eyebrows. Okay, good. Cranial nerve 7 is intact. Um, can I um, have you resist your uh, jaw against my pressure? Okay, good. Cranial nerve 5 is intact. Now I'm going to um, have you close your eyes for me and just let me know every time you feel the cotton ball. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Cranial nerve 5 is intact. Can I have you say light tight dynamite? Light tight dynamite. Okay, good. Um, cranial nerve 12 is intact. Now I'm going to go ahead and palpate your TMJ. So just open and close your jaw for me. And left and right. Okay, good. Um, now pop me a crepitation note at full range of motion, grade 5. Alrighty. Um, your eyes are symmetric and equal in size bilaterally. Your eyelashes and eyebrows have equal hair distribution. There is no drainage noted. Um, now I'm going to palpate your lacrimal duct. Uh, there is no drainage. Should you have any pain? No. Okay, good. No pain noted. Can I have you look up for me? Okay, conjunctiva is pink and moist. Clara is trying to light. Alrighty, now I'm going to um, have you do a confrontation test. So just cover one eye for me and just let me know every time you see uh, my finger. Yes. 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 Okay, good. Now the other eye. Good visual fields, your peripheral uh, vision moves within normal limits, so that's good. Alrighty, now I'm going to do the um, smelling test. So I'm just going to have you read the smallest line, or yes, read the smallest line possible for me. I'm um, going to cover one eye. Okay. Alright, uh, 374258. Okay, and now the other eye, please. 374258. Okay, good. So with that being said, um, cranial nerve 2 is intact, and you have 20 vision. So what that means is you see at 20 feet what the normal person sees at 30 feet. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and perform the uh, corneal light reflex. So just go ahead and stare at my nose for me, please. Okay, good. The light did reflect off um, the same spot in each eye, which is what we're looking for. Um, so that's good. There's no, um, and your pupils um, were still <laughs> there. Okay, good. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and do the six position diagnostic test. So just follow your eyes uh, to, with my pen only. Or don't move your head. Or your neck. <laughs> okay, good. Eye movement was parallel, which is what we're looking for. So with this test and the previous test, cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6 are intact. Okay, now I'm going to do a pupillary light reflex test. So just um, stare straight ahead of the rock. I'm going to come in at a 15 degree angle. Pupils that constrict in each eye symmetrically in reaction to the light, so that is good. Um, and now I'm going to do accommodations. I'm going to just have you stare at my nose for me, please. And when I bring my pen into focus, just focus in on that. Okay, good. Your pupils that constrict asymmetrically and equally and um, in response to accommodating to the pen light, which is good. There's no uh, deviation noted there. So with this test and the previous test, cranial nerves 2 and 3 are intact. And now I'm just going to do a quick um, cover test. So I'm just checking for any deviations. 
Okay, you had a steady fixed case, so that's good. Um, no deviations, no. All right, and with, um, now I'm going to go ahead and inspect your internal structures. Okay, so I'm going to come in at a 15 degree angle. Okay. Um, red reflex is present, optic disc is creamy yellow, renal arteries and vessels are present. Okay, now the other eye. Red reflex is present, optic disc is creamy yellow, and retinal arteries and vessels are present. Okay. Right, and with um, that being said, I did notice that your pupils were around, equal, uh, and reacted to light and accommodation, so that's good. All right, and now I'm going to move on. Um, your ears are symmetric, equal in size bilaterally. Um, there is no training, bumps, abrasions, lesions, let it there. I'm going to go ahead and palpate your oracle, checking for pain. Okay, now your tragus and your mastoid process. Did you feel anything then? Okay, good. Um, that's good, no pain noted there. Alrighty, um, now I'm gonna perform a whisper test. There's a couple hearing tests, so just cover one ear for me and repeat whatever you hear. A, B, C. Okay, good, now the other ear. One, two, three. Okay, good, cranial nerve eight is intact. Alrighty, now I'm going to perform the Weber test. So I'm going to strike the tuning fork and just place in the center of your head. So just let me know when you can uh, when you can't hear it. Okay. Alrighty. And were you able to hear equally in both ears? Yes. Okay, so I know that the patient is able to hear equally in both ears. Alrighty, now I'm going to do the rain test. I'm just going to place on your mastoid process. And when you tell me you can't hear, I'll place it in front of your ear. So uh, cranial nerve 8 is intact again, and what I got from that is that um, that you're able to hear air conduction longer than bone conduction, which is good and what we were looking for. And also with the um, the Weber test, cranial nerve 8 is also intact. Okay, um, now I'm going to go ahead and inspect your structures. Um, there is no excess drainage in the external canal. Tympanic membrane is pearly gray. No retraction or bulging noted. Umbo is present. The uh, short process of malleus and the maneuvering of the malleus is noted. And the conal white is present in the 5 o'clock position. So I'm going to move on to the other ear. Oops. <laughs> Change out my speculum. Okay, there is no excessive drainage in the external canal. Tympanic membrane is pearly gray. No bulging or retraction noted. Short process of malleus is, is present. The umbo is present. And the maneuvering of the malleus is present. Kona light is in the 5 o'clock position, or the 7 o'clock position, excuse me. Alrighty. Um, now I'm going to keep going, and your nose is symmetric, equal in size bilaterally. Um, there are no lumps, abrasions, lesions noted, so that's good. Um, can I have you um, look up for me? Oops. Okay, um, nasal mucosa or mucous membranes are red and moist. Um, turbinates are intact. And there's no uh, nasal septum deviation in the right near. And now, um, again, turbinates intact, no um, uh, mucous membranes are present, or the nasal mucosa is red and moist, and um, there is no drainage or nasal septum deviation over here, no drainage, bleeding information is falling, which is good. Okay, now um, I'm going to go ahead and have you, er, please one nostril for me, close your eyes, and just let me know what you smell. Oh. <laughs> Okay, good. Cranial nerve one is intact. Alrighty. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead. You're looking.
flips are symmetric, equal in size the latter, or equal in size. Um, there is no cracks, lumps, abrasions, which are noted fair, so that's good. Um, before we move on to your oral mucosa, I'm going to fill some gloves. Okay, good. Um, can I have you open your mouth for me? Okay, good. Buccal mucosa is pink and moist, hard and soft palate, pink and moist. Uvula is midline, pink and moist. Posterior pharynx is pink and moist. Uh, anterior and posterior posterior pillars are pink and moist uh, and present intact. Um, tonsils present two plus. I know this is a sentence that. Can you lift your tongue up for me? Okay, tongue and midline, and tongue and frenulum are midline, pink and moist. Um, I can see the wart and stuff. Um, I don't see any dental caries. All teeth are present except uh, wisdom teeth, which are absent. Um, permanent teeth are in. Um, can you say ah for me? Ah. Uh, okay, good. Soft palate and uvula rose at the same time, so cranial nerve 10 is intact. Okay, um, can I test your gag reflex real quick? All right, so just. <laughs> okay, good. Um, the gag reflex was present and the voice was smooth and soft, so cranial nerve 9 is intact. Um, and looks like you have pretty good oral hygiene. Um, so I would say just keep brushing and flossing daily. So that's good. Alrighty, now I'm going to have you close your eyes for me and just stick out your tongue and let me know whatever you taste. Sugar. Okay, good. Um, cranial nerves. Seven is intact. Okay, um, now I'm keep going, and I would say your trachea is midline. Can you look up for me? Okay, good. There's no inflammation or swelling. Do you have any pain? No pain noted. Okay, I'm gonna um, go ahead and palpate your thyroid. It's gonna have you lean forward for me, please, and lean to the right and swallow, and to the left and swallow. Okay, good. Um, did you have any pain with that? No. No? Okay, good. Um, I did not feel any inflammation or bulging at it, so that's good. Okay, now I'm going to identify your uh, one, starting with your preauricular, posterior auricular, occipital, submental, submandibular, tonsillar, superficial cervical, deep cervical chain, posterior cervical, and supraclavicular. Okay. Did you have any pain with that? No. Okay, good on you. No pain or enlarged lymph nodes, which is good. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, check out your trapezium and your sternomastoid, which are equal in size um, and symmetric, so that's good. Um, did you have any pain? No? Okay, good. Alrighty, um, now I'm going to go ahead and check your skin. So, um, <laughs> thank you. Um, skin is tan, consistent with the genetic background, even in pigmentation. Um, it is warm to touch bilaterally, and I'm going to uh, just check your skin target. Okay, good. Skin retracted back pretty quickly. I, um, so, I would say that you have good elasticity in skin target, and you're pretty hydrated, so keep drinking water, <laughs> um, which is good. Okay, now I'm going to move on and listen to some... Um, I'm going to inspect your uh, thorax. Your thorax is symmetric, elliptical in shape. Um, I don't see any noticeable lumps, abrasions, lesions noted. I'm going to go ahead and just, um, just palpate that real quick. Okay, good. Um, could have you just turn a little bit this way. Or turn that way for me, please. Okay. I'm going to do um, tactile formitis. So um, when I place my hands on you, just uh, say 99 for me, please. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, Okay, good. I felt, I did feel strong um, vibrations throughout in each position equally, so that's what we're looking for. And while I'm back here, I'm going to go ahead and just percuss. Um, so just, I'm just checking for any residents, so you can just place it. Okay. Okay, good. 
Good, thank you. Um, that um, was clear, hollow sounds. Um, so I thought this goes, which is normal finding, so that's good. Um, any pain with that? No. no. Okay, good. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and, um, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and check your carotid. So, um, two plus. Two plus. Okay, now I'm going to also take those real quick. Inhaling for me. Okay, no, uh, no uh, bruise in it there. Okay, good, no bruise in it there. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and listen to some heart sounds. So I'm going to start with your AOR tick. At the right center border, second and across space, excuse me. Okay. Now the pulmonic at the left sternal border, second and across the space. Okay. And excuse me. And now your um tricuspid at the fourth intercostal space, um, left sternal border. And now for your mitral at the fifth intercostal space, uh, left nucleocular. Okay. And um, I did not hear any. Um, I did not hear any uh, heart murmurs or hepatitis uh, lung sounds. Um, S1 was heard loudest at the apex, and S2 was heard loudest at the base. So that's good. Now I'm going to um, go ahead and listen to some lung sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and do your bronchioles. And those were um, loud and amplitude and high in pitch. Now for your um, bronchovesicular, along your sternal border. Okay, good. And those are moderate and amplitude, moderate in pitch. And now I'm going to go ahead and do your um, vesicular. Okay, good. And those were um, low and soft and amplitude and pitch. All right, now posteriorly. So can I get you to turn again? Okay. okay. And now for your um, your bronchial fascicular along your vertebral column. Okay, good. And again, those were moderate and amplitude and moderate and pitch. And now for your um, vesicular. Okay, good. Um, so, um, in your uh, vesicular, again, they were low and soft and impotent in pitch, so that's good. Um, I did not hear any uh, lung sounds or any bruise throughout, so that's good. Okay, um, so now I'm going to go ahead and check your pulses real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and do your brachial. Two plus. Two plus. Now your radial. Two plus. Two plus. Okay. Dorsalis pedis. Two plus. Two plus. And posterior tibialis. Two plus. Two plus. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and check your uh, capillary refill. So just. Okay. Good. Um, coloration returned within two seconds, which is normal finding. So that's good. And again, all your pulses were two plus, which is also good. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and have you lay down for me. Okay, I'm just going to inspect your abdomen so if you can just raise your shirt a little bit. Okay, good. Thank you. Alright, I know that the umbilicus is inverted on the midline of the body. Um, I don't see any lumps, masses, uh, lesions, abrasions, so that's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also also take some bowel sounds. Okay. Some yellow coal. Starting in the right lower quadrant. Right upper quadrant. 
left upper quadrant and left lower quadrant. Okay, and you had normal after five sounds. I was able to hear in there, so that's good. Now I'm going to listen to your, um, or I'm sorry, I'm going to also take your um, arteries, abdominal arteries. I'm sorry, I'm here. Okay, and your right renal. Or your iliac, I'm sorry. Your left iliac. And your right iliac. Okay, I did not know any breweries there, so that's good. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and percuss. So again, in the right lower. No pain, there was general tympany throughout. There was donuts on the liver and the spleen, which is a normal finding. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, do a superficial palpation. Again, starting in the right lower quadrant. checking for any um, enlarged or displaced organs. Okay, good. Did you have any pain? Okay, good. No pain. No, I didn't know enlarged organs or displaced. All right, I'm going to go ahead and palpate your liver for me. So just inhale, deep breath. Okay, exhale. Okay, good. On your liver, it was smooth. As it was palpate, the edges were smooth. So that's good. Um, now I'm going to do your spleen. Okay, again, big inhale. Okay, exhale. Um, I was not able to palpate your spleen, but that's all right. Um, that is also a normal finding. So, um, okay, that's good. Let's sit up. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and while I have you up in this position, I'm going to go ahead and do your costa vertebral angle. Can you just turn to me? Okay, um, you should feel pressure, but no pain. Did you have any pain? No. Okay, good. Now tenderness noted. Alrighty. Um, now I'm going to test your muscle strength real quick. So can you just put your arms up like this? Is this my pressure? Okay, for your legs. Okay, good. You have um, equal bilateral muscle strength in your upper and lower extremities, which is good what we were looking for. Alrighty, now I'm going to have you stand up for me. And we're going to do some range of motion tests, okay? okay. Um, there you go. So, um, can I have you... Um, Touch your head or touch your chin to your chest reflection and look to the ceiling for extension and touch your right ear to your right shoulder for right lateral bend, left ear to your left shoulder for left lateral bend. Alright, good. Um, now I'm going to do your spine. So can I have you touch your toes? Alright, and um, return to, to the normal position. Okay, good. I'm going to have you uh, lean to the right for right lateral bend and lean to the left for left lateral bend. Alright, good. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to your arms. So, okay, can I have you um, reach to the sky for abduction? Oops, let me come back behind a little bit. Okay, I've reached the ground for adduction, and we're gonna do big circle, other way, other way, for circumduction, thank you. Okay, and then I'm gonna have you flex for me, make a muscle, okay, and relax for extension. Okay, and then I'm gonna have you start with your palm up like this, and we're going to pronate, and you're going to supinate. Okay, good. Now this side, um, I'm going to have you um, reach for the sky for abduction and release for adduction. Then we're going to do a big circle for circumduction. Okay, that's good. Um, and then I'm going to have you make a muscle. Oops, I'm sorry. No. Can you relax again? Okay, make a muscle for flexion and relax for extension that's good okay and then um i'm gonna have you pronate and i'm gonna have you supinate okay good and just real quick i'm gonna go back and do flexion again for me so um go ahead and make a uh, muscle for flexion and relax for extension okay and then again can you just pronate your hand and supinate your hand okay good 
Alrighty, um, now I'm going to go ahead and move down to your legs. So can I just have you uh, elevate your leg for flexion, relax for extension. Okay, good. Other side, raise your leg for flexion, relax for extension. Okay. Um, now I'm going to have you um, press on the gas pedal for dorsiflexion, or for plantar flexion. Release for dorsiflexion. And then we're going to invert the toe and evert the toe. Okay, good. Alrighty, and the same thing on this side. I'm going to have you step on the gas pedal for plantar flexion, release for dorsiflexion, and breath the toe and e breath the toe. Okay, good. Um, did you have any pain in any body part that we went through? Okay, good. No pain noted. I did not know any popping or competition in any um, in any part that I assessed. And so full range of motion, which is good. Okay, we're not popping carpetation. Carpet is noted. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to some um, cerebellar chest. So I'm going to have you walk heel toe, heel toe for me. Um, yes. Okay, now backwards. Okay, good. Patient is able to, uh, uh, has a steady gait and is able to walk and has good equilibrium. Okay, now I'm going to do a Romberg test. So just close your eyes and try to remain as still as possible. Okay, and I'll do this for about 20 seconds. And 20 seconds is up. All right, um, you had a negative Romberg test, which is good because um, we don't want a positive one. There was maybe slight swaying, but that's a normal finding, so that's good. Um, okay, now I'm going to um, have you close your eyes for me. Okay, and for uh, strognosis, I'm going to have you hold out your hand and identify this object for me. A key. Okay, good. Um, patient is able to correctly identify objects. And senses are intact. Okay, and stick out your hand for me again. For graphic procedure, I'm going to draw something in your hand and just correctly identify whatever it is. Number eight. Good. That is correct. And pa again, patient is able to correctly identify objects. Um, and senses are good and intact. I'm going to go ahead and do your um, deep tendon reflexes. So, oops. I'm going to start with your triceps. So. I'm just going to have you relax your arm for me. Okay, good. All right. Two plus. Oops. Black. <laughs> Two plus. Okay, down on your brake heel. Two plus. Two plus. All right, down your patella. Plus, um, I'm going to go ahead and check my list because I think that completes everything, but I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders against my pressure. Okay, good. And uh, turn your head against the pressure. Okay, good. Cranial nerve 11 is intact. And now I'm going to do a rough or alternating move. So just touch your th palms and thighs really fast. Okay, good. Patient has good coordination is able to uh, complete the task properly. So do you have any questions? None. Okay, good. Have a good day. Thank you.